Masande remains Daenerys's aide-de-camp in the weeks following the fall of Yunkai. When an irritated Daenerys locates Grey Worm and Dario, Masande informs them that they have been at their contest, balancing their swords to see who will have the honor of riding at the Queen's side, since midnight. Masande is amused when Daenerys threatens to expel the winner of the contest from her army. Later on, Masande discusses the great masters with the queen, and suggests that if they are smart, they should be afraid. At the gates of Marine, Masande interprets the words of Marine's champion to Daenerys. She is clearly reluctant to accurately interpret the Miranese Valyrian and cleans up the language slightly when relaying the message. A few minutes later, when Dario is selected as the champion, Masande makes complimentary remarks about him, which Daenerys brushes off. Masande is revealed to have been teaching Grey Worm the common tongue. As the lessons progress, Masande and Grey Worm discuss their lost homelands, Narth and the Summer Islands respectively, and Grey Worm's eagerness to kill the masters of Slaver's Bay. Whilst Grey Worm bluntly states that his life was meaningless before he became an unsullied, Masande laments the beauty of Narth and the burning of her home upon her capture. Grey Worm is then summoned to begin the siege of Marine. Masande then takes residence in Great Pyramid, along with the rest of Daenerys's entourage following her success. The Dragon Queen then crucifies 163 Great Masters in retaliation of the slave children's murders on the mile markers to Marine. Masande is later present when Daenerys mulls over the possibility of seizing King's Landing after it is reported that Joffrey Baratheon has been poisoned at his wedding. However, Daenerys ultimately decides to stay in Slaver's Bay after reports that both Yunkai and Astapor have fallen out her control. She later acts as herald and interpreter while Daenerys, acting as Queen of Marine, hears petitions from her new subjects. This includes a goat herd whose flock has been incinerated by Drogon, which Daenerys pays substantially for, and his Darzo Lorak, who begs for his the corpses of the masters, including that of his father, to be dismantled from their crucifixes, which she eventually accepts. While bathing nude in a stream outside the city, Masande notices Grey Worm gazing at her. Surprised by this, she stands up, allowing him to see her wholly before she covers herself. Later she discusses what happened with Daenerys, who says Unsullied aren't interested in women. Masande says he was, though, surprising as it seems. Daenerys asks her whether, when a slave is castrated, the masters take both the pillar and the stones. Masande does not know, and Daenerys asks whether she's ever wondered. Masande thoughtfully confirms she has. Grey Worm later comes to apologize, but she tells him there is no need. She expresses sympathy over what was done to him, but he replies that if it had not happened, the course of events that eventually led to their meeting would not have occurred, which visibly moves her. As he turns to leave, Masande says she is glad he saw her, to which he says he is as well. She is later present when Jorah is dismissed from Daenerys's service and banished. Masande interprets for Daenerys when a farmer delivers to Daenerys the remains of his three-year-old girl, who was burned to death by Drogon and is present when Daenerys orders the movement of Rhaegal and Viserion to the catacombs.